And yes. thankfully, it's not affecting any land areas and hopefully never will. Mm -hmm. At least in the near term, it's not going to really impact anyone directly. Okay. It's actually weakened as well. It had been a Cat 5 last night. Hmm. About 12 hours later, we started to see it weakening and it will likely continue weakening, albeit slowly, in the coming days. And yeah. thankfully, through the weekend, we're not going to see much change to the storm itself as it has started to slow down a bit. It'll stay generally north of the islands, beginning to see some associated rainfall across the leewards. But otherwise, the center of the storm is well offshore of uh, Antigua, Barbuda, and uh, the rest of the islands. The intensity of the storm, as we mentioned, has come down, but still a powerful 150 mile an hour category four hurricane. Thankfully, in the near future, so through the weekend into early next week, Wind field is not going to affect the islands. They'll certainly see some higher surf, but not directly impacting the islands at all. We won't see tropical storm force winds there. It is going to stay north of the islands, gradually making a turn as we head toward Tuesday and into Wednesday. The model consensus, and again, a lot could happen because we're going to have to see exactly when it starts making that turn. The model consensus, now this is going beyond five, five days, does have it staying remaining well off the east coast and possibly impact Bermuda, but at this point it would be a weaker storm. Here's why. What may be helping to weaken the storm slightly right now is some overrunning wind shear. Not particularly strong, but there is some. That wind shear after day five is really going to start ramping up across the uh, western part of the Atlantic. So as it starts to move northward, and here's Bermuda, that wind shear really starts to skyrocket, and that should help to weaken the storm further. Note the winds and and wind shear off the east coast of the United States. I don't think this is going to be coming anywhere, especially along the eastern seaboard. It is possible whatever is the structure of the storm as it moves northward could impact New England, but that wouldn't be until next weekend. Elsewhere in the tropics, we also have, not to ignore it, Tropical Storm Margo. This one is expected to become possibly a hurricane, but also looks like it will remain out over open waters in the Atlantic, so no threat to land at all from that one. We had 